What up folks, welcome back to Ultra Zill Toys, and today I have a review of the McFarlane Toys Game of Thrones Ice Dragon Visceron. Alright my zillions, uh, full disclosure here, I am not a Game of Thrones fan. Um, we watched a couple of episodes when it first came out and did not like it, so um, yeah, I haven't watched it since. But, I am a fan of dragons, so if you're expecting uh, a review based on the accuracy of this, you're not going to get it here. But if you're expecting, uh, if you want a review, not expecting, but if you want a review of uh, a cool dragon for your collection, then stay tuned, because that's what we got for you here, and that's why I got it. Um, I had this on pre-order at Amazon, uh, and... and also BBTS, like, I guess I was waiting to see who would get it first. Um, but ultimately, I found it in store at Target. So uh, about a month before those pre-orders even said they were going to be available. So check your targets, guys. The new Game of Thrones figures are out there. I won't be getting any others. I can tell you that I thought they looked pretty good in person. Um, at some accurate looking faces. I do know the faces, guys. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, if you want to check those out, they are in Target now. Check the collector section, which is in the movie section. Uh, but I won't be, I will be getting any and all dragons they might be putting out from the uh, McFarlane collection here. I hope they do other dragons besides Game of Thrones. There's a lot out there. Hopefully this is the start of uh, a reboot of uh, the McFarlane Dragons line. So let's get into this guy, let's take a look. Visceron, or is it Viceron? I actually don't know. I I'm gonna call it Visceron because it sounds so much better than Viceron, uh, but he's the Ice Dragon. Comes with this really nice effect part. Um, I gotta say, it's really good. It's definitely on par with like other ones we've seen. Um, lately, NECA's has been good and uh, the SH Monster Arts stuff. I think this is this is very, very nice. Definitely on par with those. A nice translucent blue with a whitewash over it. Goes into his mouth very easily. And it looks great. A nice little ice, uh, ice beam, I guess. Uh, ice blast. You guys can educate me. You know how I roll. Educate us in the comments. Uh, this is really cool. I definitely dig this. Good job. Ice Dragon also comes with this nice base, a little icy deal here, um, glacier I don't know, icy I would say, uh, with blue wash over it, it's pretty cool, very like pockmarked, uh, it's cool, and then it has this metal, little standy, uh, for whatever reason, it doesn't look so clean, um, and uh, it has this little ball on top, and you take Viceron here, Viceron, you just stick it in there, and it actually, you know, it almost counts as another articulation point uh, when he's in the air, so I think that's pretty dope, you know, and I don't say dope often. Uh, but for his other articulation points, I know this is a uh, stickler with folks, so let's get it done. Does not have anything in the jaw. I wish it did. That would have been an easy one. Um, but yeah, it doesn't. It does have one joint at the head, one ball joint at the head one ball joint at the neck, so two up here, so that's not bad, the jaw would have been great. Uh, and the legs are just on one swivel at the thighs, a knee joint would have been good, but yeah, does not have it. Tail has a uh, ratcheted joint at the base of the tail, which is cool, something different there. You do get that, but that's not so bad. And then you got a ball joint here, one here and one here. So you get uh, one, two, you get four points of articulation and one is nice and this does uh, swivel actually. So that's uh, another one, you know, because that's really counts as two points of articulation there going downwards and going this way. Um, the swivel and the uh, ratcheted joint and then you got the ball joints here, here, and here. So you get some good movement out of them, you know. Not bad at all, guys. That's not bad. Um, very, very cool, actually. Uh, and then the the wings just have one joint. Uh, it is a ratcheted joint as well, as you can hear, which is good. I like ratchet joints, especially on wings. It makes a lot of sense because this one is nice and tight. So, uh, you know, to keep it nice and firm 
when it's upwards. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I feel like the rest of it is kind of bendy. I feel like it is. Maybe it's not. It almost feels like there's bendy wire here in the wings. Uh, they just could be a little misshapen. They're not perfect, but it almost feels like a bendy wire, but I don't... I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, that's his articulation. It's not bad. Oh, you did get another joint here at the base of the neck. My apologies. So one, two, three, four. If it swivels, yep, yeah, it swivels this way. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 points of articulation in total. Um, I think that's good enough. It works. Could be more, but I will take it. Uh, if McFarlane keeps giving us dragons that look like this, with that, I don't mind at all. So let's get into it, peeps. Uh, what does this really look like? Is it worth it? He does have a giant hole in his chest. So while I appreciate the way the, uh, and if you want to count that as an articulation point, I, I kind of can, um, because you're really, you know, you're going to be using this, you know, then that's not so bad. I, would, I honestly would count that as a point of articulation um, because it's better than just saying, hey, there's a big hole in here. But there is. I, I'm not going to deny it. Uh, the sculpt overall on this guy is very, very nice. I mean, McFarlane always does pretty great sculpts. They always have. That's been one of their things since the beginning is very, very nice sculpts. Um, one of the major toy lines that, like, really got me into the toy artistry of stuff way back when. Um, it's very nicely done. The texturing is beautiful throughout. I really like how it feels. I like the holes in the wings. That's cool. I don't know what's that about. I'm sure it's all battle damage, of course. But I think that looks great. Um, really, really does. It just looks awesome. I just love how the like hands are like stretched out and just done well. Really nice. You can see all the detail in the arms here and along the back. Looks cool. I like his little fins to the side. They look great. The feet look really nice on um, you know both sides. They are really really nicely done. On the underside here, all this looks very nice as well. On the wings, on the neck, on the bottom of the tail, all 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 looks good. I mean, I don't even I don't mind that you see the ratchet joints there because again, I really like that they have them. You see them less on the top, and you see them, but it's not super bad, and that's great. So looking at this profile here, that looks nice. And then going closer, the head sculpt is really great. I think that looks fantastic. The teeth look good. The eyes look good. I like the like the blue icy eyes. Very nice. The tongue is painted on the inside, if you can see that well. That's pretty cool. The teeth are painted. Very small teeth, uh, but done pretty well. I, I do dig it. And overall, this guy has a nice blue uh, wash over gray. It's a light, light blue, like very subtle wash over the gray. And what's cool is the wings are translucent plastic. You see right there. Uh, and you don't see it in every spot, but it, sometimes it comes through like, and it, you can see my fingers through there, which is cool. I do dig it. So like very, you see it a lot here, which means it wasn't painted as much there, but and you see more there. But I, I always say I like, you know, it not being symmetrical on these things. Uh, so that is great. I do like the idea that the wings are translucent plastic. That really works. And it is painted over because it just, it, it provides it a nice finish overall and makes the, the wash that they used look really good. Like really, really good. I do dig it. Again, you know, it's sometimes it's more blue. Sometimes it's more gray. I'm fine with that. It should not be symmetrical at all. Uh, and when those are the only colors they use, it works. It works a lot because, you know, then nothing is wrong. You know, you have nothing uh, to say that is wrong. Again, accuracy is out the window here because I never watched the show. Um, and it doesn't matter to me. I wouldn't be getting it for accuracy. Um, some folks might say, hey, but you're doing a review. You should know that, you know. I. It doesn't affect me. It doesn't affect my toy. Uh, first and foremost, the thing to, to know about Ultrazilla toys is 
you know, I get this stuff from me. Um, and you all will always get my honest opinion about what I think on this toy and this toy alone. That's how I work. You know, so um, if it doesn't matter to me, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> I, I won't. It doesn't. Um, it's a me first uh, show here. So there you go. <laughs> but this guy absolutely looks gorgeous. I love it. I think McFarlane did a phenomenal job. Before we get into size comparisons, a quick note here that I just noticed. Uh, I was able to turn this one really nicely, but this guy is stuck. So I'm gonna have to take some, it clicks fine, but it's stuck. So I'm definitely gonna have to take some heat to it. Um, this is nice and free, this is not. So be careful with the wings, you don't want to break it. Um, so yeah, that's something I'm gonna have to, have to work out. For your size comparisons, here he is with the Hero Cross Mega Kaiju, the NECA Godzilla 2014, Bucky O'Hare, Stitch, a Power Rangers Beast Morphers B Spot, Figure Arts Pikachu, the Forms Gypsy Avenger, and the new Jack 6 inch Rodan. And these guys uh, are perfect together. Same height, um, looking good. He's got a slightly bigger wingspan, but this guy's got a big wingspan as well. This is awesome. They look so awesome together. You got fire, you got ice. There's gonna be some picks here, for sure. This is really good. If you got this guy, I think you're gonna want this guy. That is too awesome. My final thoughts, I really like this piece. It's got a few issues. Not a few, but a couple. The uh, wing here, I, I heated it up with water, but it still didn't come loose. So that's a problem. Uh, right now, I gotta try again with, you know, what uh, with like some some hair drying methods, see if that goes, but do be careful. You don't want to shred that. That could easily break off. A little scared about that. And the other, only other thing is something that's not here. I wish there was a couple extra points of articulation. It would have totally made it the jaw and a knee, and I would have been good. Um, otherwise, it's really cool. I mean, the look of it is beautiful. The stand really works, and it's super high. It is really, really tall. Like, I mean, here is uh, Mechagodzilla. And you still can't see him. He's he's far below it. So uh, that is pretty awesome. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll show you another guy. But I have my camera up at him. Here is uh, Leader Class uh, Optimus Primal there. Uh, Primal Prime. Uh, but yeah, it, it's a really tall stand, which is awesome. Uh, I really dig it. The base is nice, and the effect part here is really cool. Really dig that. And again, the overall look of this guy is. Perfect. Um, I do dig it. It is very nice as far as a ice dragon is concerned. Again, I can't uh, say if it's accurate or not to what you see on TV because I don't watch Game of Thrones. I'm in it for the dragons. Um, this is great. This is a really nice dragon toy. Definitely check it out. It's about 25 bucks. It is out in Target right now, so uh, go give it a check. All right, guys, and that is my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know uh, your thoughts below. If you want to support Ultrazilla Toys, please check out my eBay page or buy me a coffee on coffee. All links are down below. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time, peace out, peeps.